Hey, welcome to Hack My Growth. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at three stories that are impacting the world of SEO today. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this channel. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you haven't yet become a subscriber, we would love for you to do that right now. And don't forget to hit that alerts button. That way you know each and every time we publish new content. So as you know, we talk a lot about digital marketing and SEO and, and a lot of other things on this channel, but we really drive home a lot of what's going on in organic search and things that are impacting how your site can rank, but also attract new visitors in the search results. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about what's going on in the search results and highlight three stories that really are impactful for people who are either in the SEO industry or rely on the organic traffic to drive relevant visitors to their website. So the first story is this one right here. It's actually an overview on something that uh, Merkel did. Merkel did a, uh, a giant study and, and kind of looked at a number of different things in, that pertain to digital marketing, but specifically this story, what it was reporting is that Google this year is delivering less organic traffic than it did last year. And not just Google, but Bing and Yahoo as well. Uh, the only search engine that actually has increased the number of organic visitors sending people to their site is DuckDuckGo. Now, this story has got a lot of really great information that you can dig into and kind of understand how Google is, is reacting and acting right now. Um, one of the things, as you notice here, uh, if you zoom in a little bit, maybe you can see it better. Uh, Google has actually dropped overall 8% less traffic. They're sending 8% less traffic right now than they did last year. But DuckDuckGo is actually up 49% with the hugest spike in mobile traffic. Uh, as you can see though, Google still is the dominant search player. They have more of the market. They actually increased their market share by 1% because Bing fell back. Now DuckDuckGo did double their market share, but they're still at point, uh, I think it's 0.6%. Yeah, 0.6% is their market share right now. So it's not something that you wanna go and just like build a strategy around. But just be aware that if you're losing organic traffic, Google and a lot of the bigger search engines, being Yahoo, they're placing more emphasis on the ads platform and really trying to drive their ad revenue, which you know that's where they drive their, their business, right? That's where they drive their profits. So you've gotta be creative. You gotta make sure that you're looking for things like the rich snippets, the knowledge graphs, any of the people also ask for, any way that you can make your listing stand out in order to make sure that you are driving that traffic to your website. Another interesting thing that's going on is we've been noticing a number of algorithm updates. And this latest one, it's been unconfirmed by Google, but a number of people have noticed huge spikes in their, in their rankings and huge fluctuations. All the major tools have been, have been posting about it. Now this one has been named Maverick, so to speak, um, you know, obviously after Top Gun. But as you can see, like a lot of these, uh, over the last 30 days, we've seen a lot here. The Mozcast temperature is over 90 degrees. We have certain metrics, you know, here in, in the, the, you know, a week ago in, in June, July, excuse me, seeing huge spikes uh, in certain metrics, Algaroo, Advanced Web Rankings, AccuRankers up here, Rank Ranger, Cognitive SEO, SimRush, everybody's topping out, showing that there's a lot of fluctuations in the search results. So again, I've wrote an article about this before and like not panicking during these major fluctuations because a lot of times we don't really know what the cause is or the indications are. So if you stick to the basics, you have a clean website, it's coded well, it's fast, it's mobile friendly, you have good backlinks, you have a good presence, and really hone in on those skills, you're going to fare pretty well. Uh, the people who should be afraid are the people who aren't uh, really working on growing their authority. So grow your authority, stick to your plan, don't freak out and make major changes, watch what's happening and then adjust accordingly so that you make the right decision. Now the last thing that's happening out right now in the world of SEO is John Mueller, who is uh, you know, head of, of, of Google search, you know, he's kind of the new Mac cut, so to speak, right? Well, he's got Ask Google Webmasters now. It's, it's a new video series that Google's putting out where you can ask questions to them and John Mueller will answer them or, or kind of answer them. Now, one of the things when Google gives us this type of information, they give us this ton of access, you wanna look at what they're saying, but you also wanna look at what they're not saying. Uh, you can kind of read between the lines to get a better understanding of how uh, how search really works and really what you need to be doing in order to meet their guidelines to really earn those top positions. 
So today we talked about three major stories kind of that are going on in the SEO world. I'm going to give links to each one of these stories. I think they're important to read. They can help you kind of understand what's going on, you know, especially when it comes to the ranking algorithm updates. Uh, if you got any questions, please comment below. We would love to continue the conversation. And until next time, happy marketing. Thank you.